Hey everybody, Mr. Seward here, and today the purpose of this video is to show you how to add uh, parts lists to an assembly drawing and also bubbles using SolidWorks. So right now I'm going to go up to the annotation tab and click on that, and all the way across at the top here we have tables. I'm going to select that. There's multiple different kinds of tables that you can put in. We're going to use a bill of materials table. And now over here in our uh, model tree, it tells us to select a drawing view to specify the model for creating a bill of materials. That's going to be the assembly drawing. So I'm just going to click inside of that red box. And it's going to come up with this list of options. So the first one at the top is uh, the table template. And just so you know this, there are multiple uh, table templates that you can use. Today, we're just going to use the uh, BOM standard. So I'm going to just uh, cancel out of that. We're not going to mess anything around with table position at all. Uh, BOM type. Now this is uh, depending on what you have going on uh, where you might have to make a change. The first choice here top level only means that if you have a sub assembly in your assembly, it would only list that sub assembly as uh, one item. If you click on parts only, it lists that subassembly as all the parts, all the parts in that subassembly get uh, listed. Then we have uh, part configuration grouping um, that we're just going to leave alone and keep missing item row. We're just going to leave alone. You can uh, set your numbers to start at a particular number. And uh, you can start at one or you can start at five or whatever, or you can set the increment. You could start at one and tell it to increment by two, two units. And what would happen is it would go one, three, five, such as that. But we're just going to stay with one and one here. Border, we're just going to, uh, uh, we're, we'll click on use document settings for that. And uh, let's see text format i'm going to click on all uppercase and then i hit the green check mark now uh, i'm going to bring my cursor onto the screen and we're going to put our our uh our bom's up in the top right hand corner but before i actually place it like it is right now it'll snap into place for you before i do that i'm going to just place it right here because i've got something i want to do to this table and i just clicked once with my uh, left mouse button so I'm going to go to where it says, when I put my cursor on here, where it says description, right above it is a letter C. I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to say delete, and I want to take out this column, because I don't want that there anymore. When I put my cursor on the table again, I can go and get the little move symbol, and I can now move this up and into place in the upper right-hand corner. So that's adding the... BOM, which is commonly referred to as a bomb in uh, industry. Now, the next thing is we need to add what are called balloons. Balloons correspond to item number right here. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, if you have a small assembly, you can just click on the word balloon and you can come out and select uh, balloon and uh, create the a whole series of balloons you want to start with number one and go through number seven the other way we can do this and i'll just undo here for a second to get rid of that is called auto balloon and uh, a lot of times students enjoy using auto balloon because they think it cuts down on their amount of work and it very well may uh, but it does cause other work issues for you i think you'll see that in a second so it says select the drawing sheet views to insert balloons. Uh, a bill of materials is necessary to order balloons sequentially. So you have to put in the BOM first, then you put in the balloons. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to come out here and I'm just going to pick on this view. And you're going to see that these um, balloons are kind of all over the place. So I've got this blue uh, preview stuff going on. Uh, if I come down into this dialog box to balloon layout, 
you can change the way that the balloons are uh, organized on the screen. You can see one of them's down here in the title block. We don't want that at all. Uh, so we're going to have to change these. So I can go with a circular uh, type of pattern. That might be the best one, to be honest with you. You can go with balloons on top, balloons all on the bottom, balloons on the left, balloons on the right. Uh, what is this one? Layout balloons to a square. Um, but this one is for me today going to be the one I want to start with. And uh, I'm just going to check mark this. Now I'm going to zoom out so I can see these balloons. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring these in and get them a little closer. I want to stay about an inch away from the part. Uh, let's see here. Let me get this guy in here. Sometimes you got to see what they're kind of uh, pointing to. You don't want them too far away, somewhere around the uh, block, the the uh, preview bo box, I guess is the best way to put it, uh, or closer. Uh, this one was way going across the part. I want to move that one in a little bit. I'll bring number five down here too. They point. They can't be pointing to the same thing, but they're pointing to the same general area. That might be why that balloon was way, way off. See, it says it's part number two here. Well, that's the collar, and then part number five is a pin that uh, goes into this thing. I'll bring balloon number four in, and number seven. So bring the balloons in closer so that they're uh, able to be seen and not crossing the title block any place. You also want to make sure when you do your balloon work that um, they are not sitting inside of the part like that. Don't, don't do that, okay? That uh, is uh, no bueno. All right, so that's how you create a parts list and balloons. And uh, I'm going to green check mark that. And what you're going to do next after this is you are going to print this as a PDF and submit it uh, to me. Uh, in this this year, this particular school year, this is uh, 2021, uh, you're going to submit it via the Google Classroom.